Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We often see paintings and horror stories inspired by sleep paralysis. However, much research is being conducted on the reasons why we are unable to move when we wake up from sleep. Researchers are also focusing on why some people still feel like they are in a hallucination after waking up. I first experienced this during my teenage years. There were still a few hours left before I had to go to school. I had just woken up and tried to turn over in bed, but my body didn't cooperate. I couldn't move any part of my body, and it felt like I had paralysis all the way down to my feet. My brain was working, but my body wasn't responding. My bedroom started to feel hot and like a prison. It felt like the walls of the room were closing in. My fear and anxiety increased. It took about 15 seconds before my body could move. It was much later that I discovered that there was a name for what I had experienced sleep paralysis. Interestingly, this is a common condition that occurs during sleep at night. In this condition, the brain is active, but the body temporarily becomes rigid. Though it initially seemed terrifying, it became common for me, happening once every two, three days. As it occurred more frequently, the fear associated with it decreased. After a while, it became a minor inconvenience rather than anything serious. Can this have a severe impact? Let's look into it. Sleep paralysis can also have a severe impact on life. Some people experience hallucinations along with it. A 24-year-old named Victoria said that she first encountered this when she was 18 years old. I woke up but couldn't move my body, she said. I saw some form of a demon behind the curtain. It seemed to leap onto my chest. It felt like I was stepping into another world. The most terrifying thing was that, despite all that was happening, I couldn't scream. It all felt very real. Some people believe they see aliens, threatening intruders, or even deceased relatives in their hallucinations. They might feel as if their body parts are floating in the air, or see doppelgangers standing beside their bed. Some even report seeing angels, leading them to believe they have had a divine experience. Researchers suggest that such hallucinations could also be a reason for the belief in witches in early modern Europe. Similarly, the belief that aliens have abducted them in modern times could also be due to these hallucinations, according to researchers' opinions. Is it a recent phenomenon? Scientists believe that sleep paralysis is not a recent phenomenon in human sleep. There are numerous documented instances in literature where this condition has been extensively described. The depiction of sleep paralysis in paintings inspired Mary Shelley to write a scene in her novel Frankenstein. However, Research on sleep paralysis has been limited. Until recently, it hadn't been given much attention, but in the last 10 years, interest in this topic has been growing, said Balan Jalal. He is conducting research on sleep at Harvard University. Jalal is possibly the first researcher to have completed a clinical trial on various methods of treating sleep paralysis. He completed this research in 2020. After experiencing sleep paralysis, some people believe that the answer lies in supernatural forces. However, Balan Jalal explains that the reason is quite ordinary. There are four stages of sleep at night, and the final stage is known as rapid eye movement, REM sleep. This is when we dream. During REM sleep, our brain temporarily paralyzes our body, possibly as a precaution to prevent injuries that could be caused by acting out our dreams. However, sometimes the brain wakes up from REM sleep prematurely. Scientists are still unclear why this happens. This process wakes us up, but the lower part of the brain remains in the REM state, continuing to send neurotransmitters necessary for paralysis, explained Balan Jalal. Some parts of the brain become active during this phase. This means your brain is working, but you are physically unable to move, said Balan Jalal. When I was in my 20s, I used to experience sleep paralysis once every two or three days. But even then, it didn't have a major impact on my life. It was an interesting topic to share with family and friends. In this way, my experience was quite ordinary. For most people with this condition, it's just a peculiar sensation, said Colin Espy, a professor of sleep medicine at Oxford University. In a way, it's like sleepwalking. Most people who sleepwalk don't think it's a serious problem or seek medical help. It's just a curiosity for their family members. That's it, Colin explained. However, for some, it can be quite distressing. Research by Sharpless showed that 15% to 44% of people with sleep paralysis experience severe stress due to it. The problems stem more from how we react to the condition than the condition itself. 
People intensely ponder over what will happen the next time they experience sleep paralysis. At night, especially in the early morning, those with this condition can become extremely anxious. They create a world of anxiety around it. The extreme form of this is a panic attack, explained Colin Espy. Narcolepsy can also be a factor. In some serious cases, sleep paralysis can be a sign of an underlying condition called narcolepsy, which is a severe sleep-related disorder. In narcolepsy, the brain fails to regulate sleep and wakefulness properly. As a result, those with the condition can fall asleep at any time without warning. Doctors say that sleep paralysis arises from sleep deprivation. When sleep is insufficient, all the processes related to sleep become disordered. The best treatment for sleep paralysis is to provide awareness. Patients should be informed about the causes of the condition and reassured that it is not dangerous. Sometimes therapies like meditation are recommended. The goal is to reduce anxiety in patients before they go to sleep and to help them remain calm when the body becomes paralyzed. In severe cases, medication is advised. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, usually prescribed for depression, are recommended. When does it become severe? Sleep paralysis becomes particularly severe when hallucinations occur. These nighttime hallucinations can be frightening, but they also reveal many fascinating aspects about the human brain. When you experience sleep paralysis, your motor cortex in the brain sends signals to move the body. However, due to the paralysis of the nerves in the body, no signals return to the brain. There is a kind of imbalance that occurs here. Our perception gets shattered, explains Balan Jalal. As a result, the brain fills in the gaps, creating its own explanation for why the nerves aren't responding. This often leads to the illusion that someone is sitting on your chest and pressing down on your body. Christopher French, the head of the Anomalistic Psychology Research Unit at Goldsmiths University of London, has been speaking with people who experience such hallucinations for over a decade and recording their experiences. Most of these are quite ordinary, but some can be unique and even extreme, he said. Describing some hallucinations is also difficult. Describing some hallucinations can be challenging, as some are very strange. As part of his research, Christopher French recorded numerous hallucinations, such as seeing a frightening black cat, feeling choked by plants, and many others. However, most of the others were quite ordinary. The cultural environment around also influences these hallucinations. In Newfoundland, Canada, there's a common hallucination of an old hag sitting on one's chest. Mexicans often say that a dead person is sitting on their chest. Similarly, in St. Lucia, it is said that unbaptized children, kokma, are choking them in their sleep. People in Turkey report seeing karabasan, a demon-like creature, while Italians often see witches. These cultural variations show how sleep paralysis and its accompanying hallucinations are influenced by local beliefs and folklore. Does culture also influence it? When Bal and Jalal conducted research on sleep paralysis among people of the same age and gender in Denmark and Egypt, he noticed differences based on their cultures. The prevalence of sleep paralysis was higher in Egypt, 44%, compared to Denmark, 25%. Egyptians who believed in seeing demons experienced longer periods of immobility. Jalal's theory suggests that those who believe in supernatural forces and feel fear are more likely to experience sleep paralysis, and this fear can also lead to its frequent occurrence. Excessive anxiety and stress can impair your sleep system, increasing the chances of sleep paralysis, Jalal explained. Let's take an example. Suppose your grandmother told you about a creature that attacks at night, this instills fear in you. Due to this fear, you become more alert at night, and the fear-related parts of your brain are hyperactive. Hence, during REM sleep, you feel something is wrong. The creature is here. I can't move. This thought also arises in you. Cultural factors can also contribute to such intense effects, said Balan Jalal. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.